And I'll add that as a Zimnan thing as well. You know, sometimes you get this inspiration. You know, that is a ni'mah and a blessing from Allah as well. Sometimes you think, a thought comes in your mind, I should pray salah. Act on that. Do it. That is, a, that is a mehman and a guest from Allah. Entertain that guest, Allah will give you tawfiq to do even more in future. Sometimes you have a spontaneous thought, I should read some Quran today. Do it. Even if it's one ruku, even if it's one page, even if it's one ayah, subhanAllah, it's one ayah more today than you did yesterday. Don't ever think that it's... Like for example, one person, he said to me, I don't read the rabi, why? Because my dad said, well, I don't fast, sorry. I don't even keep rosy, it's not part of my life. And I was like, what, why? Okay, what's the reason? And remember this, guys, not to be judgmental. Our communities, when you say, we get angry, but you res- relax a bit, relax. You don't know his story, so don't react instantly. Okay, so what's the reason, perhaps? So, why? Why, why, why do you choose not to fast? Well, my dad said to me, if I don't pray Taravi, he goes to me, Fir tuade rauze na bhi koi fayda nahi. Na Taravi ya, fir na rauza. Like, so I thought to myself, I can't pray 20 regards. No, 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 I've got to wake up, I've got to go to the city, I've got a big, big job, I, I leave 12 hours a day. How do you expect me? And I said, no one expected you, brother. Yeah, you were misinformed. Just do what you can do, inshallah. Now, I'm not, when I say this quote, don't think to yourself, oh, the green light, you can do what you like. I'm not saying that. I'm saying everything has its place. But that doesn't mean because you can't do one thing that you then discourage the other. So, like one person said, subhanallah. I asked, again, you, get, you come across some, mashallah, ajib mantiq, mantiq, you know, logic. So one person, I, I, we were talking about the sunnah, we were talking about the outer sunnah, inner sunnah, and I was touching on this. And we were t- the subject came out about beard and so on, and khair. Sometimes this is a bit of a touchy subject because some people feel guilty at the time. And look, one thing is, if you know something is right and you say, look, I know it's right, but I feel a bit weak, that's all right. But if you start saying things like, nee, nee, is up, or dilich, daryuni, dilich. This, is, this is where the problem lies. If you admit your mistake and say, look, I, I know, but I'm just a bit weak, you know what I mean? I know it's right, I know it's the right thing to do. Like in Ramadan, it's funny because that same person, the beard starts growing, the topi comes on, mashallah, everything. Because there's an environment, there's a mahal. So you yourself agree that that is the right thing to do, but if you don't do it, it's okay, but just don't take the mick out of it.